please stand for the pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everyone for coming and those watching on TV. Uh, as far as marriage report, we really don't have much to say except for just a short update. Uh, as everybody knows, we've been, uh, we hired a company to do a feasibility study for possible possibility of a hotel in the urban area. And we had a meeting with them this last week with the, the final draft. And so things are moving forward. It sounded very promising. Uh, what they were recommending and uh, suggesting and uh, so we're going to the next stage now to uh, try and move forward and, and get uh, company interest and so forth. So anyway, it's a very positive thing. So that's really the only thing that I wanted to mention just in case anybody had any questions. Okay, we'll move on to City Administrator. So the sales tax revenue for this month is uh, really good. It came in $20,000 over the same month last year, very strong. Uh, Corey and I have been conducting some um, interviews last week for the vacancy that we have in the yeah. office and have a couple promising candidates, which is fantastic, and so we might have someone suggested to you um, in the next meeting or so. Mm -hmm. So I, I told you all that Murmo is no longer going to cover cyber liability insurance for us. But they are offering a program which is um, for cyber security education and what they're calling spear phishing with a P campaign. <laughs> um, and I opted us into that program because there's no extra cost for it. And it'll have a rotating, um, one month it'll be an educational video that all the employees will watch. And then the next month they'll actually do a phishing exercise where they will um, send out things to test you uh, and to pay attention to your video or not, I guess. Um, and so I'll know more in a couple weeks, but your, all, your city email addresses might be included in that. Um, I will let you know for sure if, if you're included in that or not. Um, or it might just be everybody who's connected to our server. But um, anyway, I thought that was good. That'd be good education for, for everyone. The police car. Um, Marlon got some news this week, the police car that we budgeted for. Uh, he, they had given him um, estimates of 37.9 and now it's 47.110. So partly due to inflation and partly due to, to the fact that uh, Ford is no longer offering the law enforcement discount. So um, Chief Walker is going to look around and get some bids from some other um, manufacturers and see if they offer such a thing. And we'll have more information for you uh, to present to you at the next meeting, and we might, might need to vote on how we want to move forward at that time. Uh, some public works things, um, we'll some park things. The tennis court, the repairs are going to be done to the tennis court uh, before the pickleball tournament, uh, <laughs> which is later this month. And the pool pump, we've been talking about raising the pool pump um, out of the a pit and building it above ground for a long time. Ben had gotten an estimate last year for that it would be $50,000. Uh, we have 60 saved up, so we went out for bids, only for them to come in at the lowest at 99 and the highest at 141 So. Jesse and Ben and I um, conferred together and our recommendation to the park board is going to be that we reject all the bids and try again in the spring. In the spring we will know a couple things. One, we'll know whether or not we got the grant for the park lighting. And if we do, see we already have all that money, so that would save us $75,000. Um, it would also let us know just it's going to be closer to the end of the fiscal year, and so we'll have a better uh, feel for you know how if we were ahead of the budget or if we're underwater. Um, so we'll have a better read on it in the spring. So um, that was disappointing, but um, that seems to be the way these things are going. Um, streets. So the curb and gutter project will resume in a few weeks on East Eighth and Schiller. And the water department crews are working on 7th Street, um, installing that new water main as time permits. Gas department has been installing new service lines and rerouting a couple others. 
and the electric department has been replacing poles and, and they've installed a new transformer. Um, it was just for a residential service. And they, um, Jesse was excited that they have all the wire pulled um, in CTOL for the upcoming week. So, that was on. Very good. Thank you. Uh, under public comments, I just have one that we're going to move back to the uh, motions for the lines. Uh, so we'll move on to ordinances. The first, which is on for second reading, is bill number 2022-45, yeah. an ordinance to approve an intergovernmental agreement related to the law enforcement sales tax between the Gasconade County Commission, the Gasconade County Sheriff, and the City of Herman, Missouri. I have a motion to approve. I move to approve Bill 2022-45, second read. Motion's been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion's made and second all in favor. Aye. 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 The next on for first reading is Bill number 2022-46, an ordinance to approve a contract agreement with Lowmaster Construction LLC for airport taxi lane construction. Uh, so as you all know, we held a special meeting uh, was that this past week <laughs> to approve the bid uh, for the contractor for the airport. Now, these next two ordinances, if we could read them twice, again, you know, time is of the essence, trying to get ahead of the, the winter weather. Uh, the first one here is going to be the actual contract for the contractor itself, who is Flowmaster. The second one is going to be our contract with the um, consultants, the, the engineers um, themselves. So it, it's two separate things related to the same project. Anybody have any questions? I'll, I will make well, I will make one note um, on the next one uh, that they had given me an estimate for their services um, and they did increase it by four thousand dollars. The consultant fee. Do I have a motion to approve the, the contract? Move bill number 2022-46, first read. Motion made, I have a second. Second. Motion made, second, all in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried, second time. Bill number 2022-46, an ordinance to approve a contract agreement with Flowmaster Construction LLC for airport taxi lane construction. Motion to approve second reading. I'll move to approve bill number 2022-46, second row. Motion has been made, do I have a second? I'll second. Motion has been made and second, all in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So here. Next for first reading, bill number 2022-47, an ordinance to approve an aviation project consultant supplemental agreement number one for airport taxi lane construction services. Any questions? If not, I have a motion, please. Make the motion, Bill Number 2022-47. Motion. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, right? All right. Any opposed? So carried. And for second reading, Bill Number 2022-47. An ordinance to approve an aviation project consultant supplemental agreement number one for airport taxi lane construction services. I have a motion for a second reading. I'll move to approve bill number 2022-47, second read. Motion is made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion is made. Second on the right. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Is there any uh, old business? Any new business? motions. I have a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting. I move to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion to be made and second on favor right. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. <coughs> motion to approve. Now, give me a motion to pay the bills there. I move we pay the bills. <laughs> motion to be made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion to be made and second on favor right. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hire Alexander Lambert as a full-time police officer. Anybody have any questions before we move on? Make a motion to approve. Okay. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? 
I'll second. Okay, made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Okay, approve the U.S. Cellular, cellular Power Relocation. So, we have a cell tower currently up by the cemetery, um, and they want to take down the existing monocle that they have and build a new one. Now, um, we've been in communications with them um, for about a year back and forth. Initially, they wanted to build one tower and collate with our uh, dispatching equipment and everything. Um, and then they tried different locations, uh, which would have denied us access to our tower and things. So after a lot of back and forth, and uh, for doing a lot of it, um, this is what they are proposing. And um, so it's a brand new tower. The footage, uh, square footage is increased. The old one was 20, 27.5 by 29. This is going to be 50 by 15. And so, um, Corey, is there anything you want to say about the location? Uh, it looks like they made it to where we have plenty of egress and ingress and egress. Yeah, they, to get in there. they assured us that at this location we would have access with our own equipment to get to our own towers. And with that location, they also won't have to move the guy wires from our current tower. Does AT&T have a tower there too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just close by, yes. So basically what they want tonight is um, if we agree on this location, then at the next meeting, we will need to negotiate the terms of the lease uh, as far as the, the price, if it should go up, and um, how long they're asking for. Did you read that as an additional 50 years or 50 years from now? I'm not sure. We have to um, check with that. But um, they like these long-term leases, and um, the area where it is, and which is why they initially didn't want to go there, is it, it's very steep, and um, you know Jesse and the guys don't feel like it's ever going to be usable uh, property. It's on a really steep, hilly um, area, so I, I really don't see the harm in quite a long lease. Um, do you have any comments? No, I don't have any comments. They uh, seem to want a commitment from the city to consider uh, extending the term and also practically tripling the amount of square feet of the lease area. Uh, they didn't say anything about increasing the rent. Uh, but, but I think that, uh, yeah, right. Uh, as Tricia said, the, uh, you would have a new lease in front of you eventually to approve that would have the rent provisions and, and anything else um, that they think uh, they want to propose we enter. Right. I'm assuming they'd pay to remove and clean up the old tower. And now that what they'll pay will be comparable, I guess, to what AT&T is paying, or do they have a small area than you know what they're going to have? Um, I'm not sure what at and is paying right off the top of my, um, off the top of my head. Um, but right now they're paying a 13, 13, 18, 20. <laughs> She's a machine. Um, thank you. <laughs> and I'll look, I think the at t Tower is a thousand dollars. You know, I might have that with me. I think the at t Tower was a thousand dollars. So it's comparable. <clears throat> Any other questions? Now, do we have a motion to uh, I'll approve the U.S. Cellular Tower relocation. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion to be made. Second. All in favor, right? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Conditional use permit renewal, Mark 9 LLC, the White House Hotel, 232 Wall Street, outdoor liquor. Motion to approve. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Additional use permit renewal for Hermanoff Incorporated doing business as Gin Mill Brewing Company 114 Gutenberg Outdoor Liquor. I have a motion to approve this. I'll move to approve. Motion to made and second. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstain. Carried. Approved bid for 1,400 feet of six inch pipe for the water line installation. 
I move to approve the purchase of the pipe. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Approved the low bid of $5,880 from Lamke Trenching and Excavating for Boring of the Park Lighting Project. I'll move to approve. Motion to made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Approved bid from Mort Tractor and Equipment for a Grasshopper Lawnmower with 41 inch debt for the cemetery in the amount of $6,705. I move to approve. Motion made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. And ayes have it. Okay. Uh, Caters permit application for the Friendship Brewery for, lunch, for the motorcycle. This was this last weekend. This is what you all approved up by the phone booth. So we'll move on to. Uh, Caterers from an application for Dog Master Distillery, Samuel Burton Distilling Company, Firmway Distilling Company for the Smoke Fest 2022 at the Amphitheater, September 17, 2022. I move to approve. Motion has been made to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Motion has been made and second. All in favor, right? Aye. Any opposed? So here. Caterers permit application for the Old Vine Kitchen Emporium, which is in Wine, 4th and Schiller Street for October 20th, 2022. Move to approve. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion has been made and second. All in favor, right? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. carry. Festival event application for the Muskrat Society for Historic Display and the rear lot of Worst House on Gutenberg on October 8, 2022. Motion. Motion to approve. Motion made. Do I have a second? A second. Motion made and second. All in favor, right? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> okay. Fest Festival event application, Herman Lions Club, Kettle Farm Sales, Southwest Corner of Gutenberg and First Street, Saturday and Sundays in October. Ron, if you had a card, you want to speak, please? Yeah, please. I'm Ron Cratley. I'm the past president of the Lions here in Herman. Uh, Steve is the current president. This started while I was in the process, and also Steve's got a real job and has to do work, and he wasn't sure he was going to be able to make it tonight. So I'm speaking on behalf of the, uh, the Lions. Uh, we are looking for approval of the location that we've been planning on for quite some time. We've somewhat used it in the past, but in the past we didn't have the equipment we're going to have this year. This year we have a whole new setup for kettle corn that is a lesser footprint that was designed to fit in the property at first in, in Gutenberg uh, because uh, of the, the, the traffic that is there, the, the foot traffic that is, not the car traffic, which are, there is that too. Uh, we can see there is a lot of activity that goes on in that corner. One of the reasons we want to be there is because of the activity. About three years ago, we had a satellite operation down there. We popped it up at Gutenberg, or Schiller and First, and we carted it down there, and we couldn't keep up with the demand. There's a lot of people walking through that area, and there's a lot of people that we sold kettle car to. So we had the opportunity with this new equipment to somewhat compact it. It's, and I've given you guys a picture of it. That's, it's, it's more finished than that. It's got a roof on it and other things and the equipment go on it. But that's the size of the, op the operation that's going to be there. Uh, we can run it with a minimum, we probably could do three, but we'd probably staff with four people uh, to, to make sure that we can keep up with the volume of popcorn. That's one of the problems we had with the old ones, we couldn't keep up with the volume. So with this new equipment and the new location, we think we'll be able to increase our profits, which is what we're in this for, <coughs> that we can return those profits back to your constituents here in the city of Herman, the community of Herman, and so forth. Uh, all the money that we raise, this is our primary fundraiser, uh, is used to go back to fund scholarships, to fund uh, things such as the pickleball court that we're hoping to 
raised some money for and added to that and so forth. It's not used to run the Lions here locally. As a matter of fact, our charter says we can't do that. Our local organization is ran through the, do do uh, the dollars that are generated by the dues that the members pay. So we're not subsidizing ourselves. We are there for volunteering to, for the community. And that's the whole purpose for going now. Now, we will concede the fact, like I said, it's a very busy intersection. And I will go back to that year. We had the satellite uh, station there that we were selling the, uh, the kettle corn. And that was the year that the trolley had an accident out by Village Market. And the ambulances came through there and so forth. And they were able to make it through. And it, it, you know, I, I, I can't tell you that the, how the police handled it, but we saw the ambulances going through that day without a problem. And we're going to be foot traffic. We aren't looking at pedestrian, or we're not looking at uh, car traffic stopping and so forth. As a matter of fact, uh, kettle corn is an impulse item. So we need to be where the people are. Like, like we've said before, the smell is what sells. Us popping there, it gets the scent out, it gets people wanting to come buy, it, buy popcorn from us, and it's, that's, that's a real purpose we're trying to go to that location. Uh, it's also, uh, it's, it's, it's a desire to try and maximize the profit just like any other good business. And that, that's what we think we can do at the, that place. Uh, it, it knows an easy answer. We know that. But yes is what we're looking for. We're looking at getting that location, returning the, the, the monies back into the people of Herman. And as a matter of fact, I know that there's been concerns raised by some of the, the uh, well, Marlin possibly about the, the concern, but if anything else, you got an extra set of eyes there, you got an extra set of people that can react to a situation that occurs. Like I said, we are not a destination. We are not the winery. We are not the brewery. We are a impulse item, and we need to be where the people are to, to sell it. And we hope to increase our sales tremendously this year by that location and our new equipment. Uh, I think everybody understands what you're trying to do and I think everybody is supportive of the, of the Lions. The Lions do a lot for the town and, and the surrounding areas. I think the bottom line uh, is, is the safety issue of that corner. Uh, Alder, Alder Roman. Linger. <laughs> Linger. <laughs> Lost my train of thought for a minute. Linger here. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, she called the state in what, two years ago, and we had meetings down there because of the issues of so many people trying to do something with possibly doing something with, with the crosswalks to try and, you know, the police do the best they can, but uh, the police chief, as far as I understand, is not in favor of that location, and, and because of the safety aspect. Me, personally, I want to support you, but... but I have to support what the police chief says myself. I don't have a vote on this. It's up to yeah, these I people. Understand. But I'm just telling you how I feel about it. You know, I, I want you know, I know you guys do great things, guys and ladies. Mm -hmm. And and I understand that. But uh, number one in my mind is priority is the safety issue. You know, it uh, if if you have a super busy weekend that second weekend when there's so many people and and I, I don't know. Yeah. Well and again the, I gave you guys a handout some pictures that shows I understand the, the, uh, the uh, setup, and I understand Marlin's concerns, and rightfully so. But if anything else, you'll have more eyes and ears down there than you would otherwise. And the eyes and ears don't 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 help the person. I mean, they help the person after the person's been hit. But you know, if we're selling kettle corn there or not, that accident can happen. That that's correct. And I don't think that we were going to add to that. Why, why add to? Well, I don't think we would add to it. I think that if anything, we would supplement it. Yeah. Can I say something? Yes, you may. You have four other locations you can go to, and one is just on the other side of that building in Swan's parking lot. We gave you guys permission. Wouldn't that be a good spot? Probably. It's right there on the street. I know what you're saying. It's not the same location. It's not a very good location because there's going to be other things, and we have to move the trailer out every week and move it back in and give Mike his parking lot back. And also, he has disposals out there that would have some smells and so forth. So and, and that's this, that's just part of the business. Or what about and, at the, the car wash parking lot or at the JCC? The farther you get away from the people, the less we're going to make. I mean, that's we you got to hunt where the ducks are. That's what I was always told. But I don't want some ducks to get ran over. 
Well, we don't either. We, 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 will, we will be monitoring that just as well. And I, I'm sure Ma, uh, well, Marlon already has a plan for that. Well, we'll let Marlon yeah, speak if he would. Yeah. Um, again, Mr. Chief, the safety missile on the ground that location, that is our busiest intersection on October this weekend. Vehicle traffic, uh, pedestrian traffic, we have buses turning down there, uh, party vans, that's our busiest intersection. So having anything on that corner and the risk of anyone possibly being struck or anything happening is just, the risk is too high. So again, great organization, but for one week the bus ride, I understand, is going to be there a nice long block. After that, they're gone and that he's offered that for the next Four weekends for all be just pretty much 20 feet down from the corner or wherever it is to sell the next four weekends. I mean, there's enough traffic there, or even that first street, with vehicle traffic, foot traffic on first street that people I, are going to find the pothole and they're not going to miss it or not come by it. I don't know. It's been 20 years, they're going to find your pothole. They're going to see it. They'll be one of those locations they're going to find. I will tell you, last year, and this is for the whole group. Last year we were at what is the old goodbyes lot uh, right there, and we, the year before that we were on the trolley man's lot on that corner, and it wasn't available last year, so we had the goodbyes lot, and we went down by about ten percent because there weren't people walking by. What they, happened they, to were, the they caboose? We had to get them to come across the street. What happened to the caboose location? Were you all there? There's an agreement that was entered in by the Lions years ago that said. We wouldn't operate there. I'm with, not the sure city? Why. with the city. With the city. It's about. It's, it's only about two years old, and um, the letter signed by Walter L. Was, I guess he was the president, was the president at the time, yeah. and that wasn't. Um, that was asked by the caboose committee of the Lions Club. Uh, the city board didn't ask that of the Lions to give up their, their rights to do that, but that letter they could put in the file um, because the caboose committee. Uh, wanted to keep the caboose accessible and visible as possible. And now the basins have the first rider refusal because that was theirs, um, used to be their uh, caboose actually. So they're the only ones in that agreement who have the right to, to use the front caboose. But that's that same corner too, quite honestly. So on this trailer, where would you be serving from? Where would the line? It would, it would be right up. Let me, let me grab one to show you. It would be right here. Here's a painted sidewalk. It would be coming out of this side where we'd be serving. Down, actually, it'd be down this end, down towards the loading dock. Okay. That's where the, the, the right there, actually, on the trail. Back in that area. Yeah, the back end. Of it. So the tongue would be facing south. Or the fun, the tongue is facing. Gutenberg South, yeah. South, okay. Yeah, that's where the tongue is. So the line could conceivably come. I take it back and north. down here. It'd be right here is where we'd be selling. The back end. Yeah. So the, the north, it would, the line would be able to wrap yeah. north. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So the, the back end of the trailer swing doors or? It doesn't have oh. doors. It, it just it has a, a gate that closes it off to the general public it's pretty much alone have serving windows on the side it, it has a serving counter that's inside the trailer so it doesn't occupy any space matter of fact if we were using the old one we ran with a, uh, a a huge tent we had to put up which took a lot of space because we needed the shade we needed to have the place to sell it this is all self-contained it's compact and it's all for that purpose you're not going to be providing seating arrangements there will tables. not be any public seating the only seats that might be there are somebody bringing the lawn chair to sit down while they're relaxing and trying to make popcorn that'd be the only thing that we would have there's not going to be a picnic table there's I not going to be a bench i don't have what they're looking at where's the line of people going to be yes. you, you have the i don't well, yeah, they've got it <laughs> where's the one that, uh, oh this one sorry Make sure I'm going the right way. The tongue is down here, so actually the, the serving would be out of this area right here. So it'd be like right there. Oh, so it's like an open trailer. Yeah. And it had equipment on it and stuff. It has a roof on it now too. So. I mean, what? I mean, you think you don't think people will be deep enough to go into the sidewalk area? There? Well, we'll be selling along this area. It won't be just that area. This this area is where we're going to be selling. So I guess the concern is for 
the ordinance says that no no line of people or no queue of people of one of your services can be in the pedestrian walkway. So do you ever foresee people being that deep as to get into, is that five feet? It's over five feet, yeah. It's over five feet. We measured it, measured it off, so. so yeah, so. I know that, and I can, I can vouch that where Trish is kind of going with that, that there's a herd mentality sometimes, and, and, I, and as well thought out as the trailer might be, there might be some queuing happening even out into the street when you get a group of 10 people come walking, you know, seeing the, and smelling it and wanting it. Well, and, and one of the things that we've offered, or would offer, is to cordon off along the painted sidewalk and keep them within that range. We have, we have talked about that too, if that would appease the, the for the safety aspect. Uh, we will be able to do that if that's what you want. You know, put up a, a fence, a sort of cordon off the, that in order to get in there, you go in that way and you can't get any deeper than what that allows. Uh, again, like I said, if, from my perspective, I, I don't want it there. It's I understand. Pedestrian traffic, vehicle traffic, buses turning, party bus, everything, that's the busiest intersection. If you're down a few feet after the first weekend in that lot, which is, sits back a little bit, you're still going to get all the traffic. No, you're not going to get the traffic that you, we, you, you're going to have on first. You're going to lose less than 20 feet. I mean, people are going to see the mop car. It's, it's quite a bit. There's no traffic going down at, Woodward yeah. and First Street, Hermanoff, and Tin Mill Brewery, and everything is right there. So they're going to see the yellow jackets and the kettle corn smell it to go by. So they're not going to say, where's the popcorn? It's like right there. I mean, they're not going to miss it. I mean, understand everything you all do is great for the community. I don't want to yeah. try to say you shouldn't do it, but as a chief, uh, I, I don't want to put anybody and, and we don't want to, we don't want to put anybody in jeopardy. And we don't there's, think we're putting anybody that's in jeopardy that's not right It's going to be available that has more space uh, or, the, or if you don't want to be at the first street in Shiller, I understand that, but if after the first weekend you have four weekends in that back lot, which is safer than right on that corner, I don't understand, you're still going to have your business and make money. I mean, you're not going to lose any business being 20 feet down. Everybody's going to see you right there. I guess we'll agree and disagree. We think the other location is a better location. And I understand you're concerned from the safety perspective, but we're concerned about the safety as well, too. And we will do whatever we can to, to keep that area safe. But I, I will tell you, if you got an eight-period person crossing the street, he falls down. It's not because we're doing kettle corn. Or if somebody runs a car into a group of people, it's not because we're selling kettle corn. I have large buses turning that corner. I have a ton of amount of foot traffic and everything else right there. Everybody's going flowing that way or moving or coming off first or off the bridge. We're coming into town. Everybody's that's the busiest area on Saturdays till six o'clock. After that, it dies down to the beer garden or a 10 year old or wherever they're at. Up till 6 o'clock, that intersection is crazy. That's our busiest intersection. So, have anything on that corner to pass to it. I don't want that anyone to possibly get it. We don't either. We don't want anybody to get it. We really don't. I agree with you that. And I don't think we're adding to it. You know, no. But we'll agree to disagree on that one more. Well, but you've got up to the yeah. board, but I'd rather be down a little uh, bit from right there. All right. Well, do you uh, you all have any? Are there questions or discussion that you all want? One note that I'll, I'll add in that you, the Alliance does have a letter of approval of the property owner. Right. On this the is private, private property. Private right. property to, to establish. You would and we do have own. insurance too, by the way, which we would be able to give you tonight. Ken's got it here. You would be off of the, if you will, the ADA painted mm -hmm. through 10 sidewalks. Years ago, that was railroad track. Mm -hmm. There's never been a sidewalk. We know that. There. <laughs> no other questions. Anybody else? Do I have a motion? I would make a motion to approve the lines application. I have a motion. Do I have a second? No second. event for all the weekends of Oktoberfest, but at Mr. Sloan's lot. That's a compromise. Well, I would rather, if we're going to do that, 
but we're, we're, we have to decide. So. But uh, I would give you a preference. I'd rather go back to uh, the goodbyes lot, if that's still on the table, rather than doing it down at the, uh, uh, again, Schiller. Mike has a business there. Right. And Mike, we don't want to interfere with his business, and we want to leave the, the equipment set up. Now, let me offer you, offer you one more thing. I realize the motion has died and so forth, but what if we try it for one week and at least see if it's any kind of problem? I, you know, it's up to them, but I have to stand behind the police chief. You know, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, can I make a new motion? You can make Another a motion. Another <laughs> motion? I move that we approve the Lions Club to sell the kettle corn all the weekends of Oktoberfest at either the location at Schiller and First or at Mr. Sloan's parking lot. Okay, everybody, everybody understand that motion? No comment. Do I have a second, do I have a second to that motion? He said you could be there yet. He said you could be there all those weekends. It's in an email, even with the bus price. Mm -hmm. Ron, Ron, is yeah. there a room at uh, Good Bicycles? Aren't they excavation? That would have to be corded off. I would think you'd be interested in that safety guard, too. Just, yeah. They said they would cord it off. Okay, we have we have a motion on the floor. She just made a motion. Do I have a second from anyone to let them go on one of those two locations? A second. Motion to make a second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Sorry, we can't approve where you want okay. to go, but I, I truly believe it's a safety issue. But hopefully. So I will need to know by um, the next board of all of the meetings, which location it's going to be where you're going to. These guys will we'll arrange the meeting Tuesday night. They need to know the specific exactly. location. Okay. So you need to do application. Right? No, I can amend it. Um, I just need to know by the next meeting so we can approve your vendor space permit, which location. You all. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Okay. I have a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion to make a second. I'll second. Motion to make a second. I'll take it off. 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 Take it